In the early days of harness racing, the vast majority of racing took place on half-mile tracks. The fans um, wanted to see the horses more times than on a mile track or such. So then they developed the 5 8 mile track, which was kind of an in-between before the horsemen and the fans. Is it a big difference for drivers to drive on different sized tracks? Not too much uh, nowadays because they have photo patrol and everything. Mm -hmm. and they, you know, they're pretty careful because you get taken down. But when I started out, it was a little rough and ready. You know, they, you got knocked down a few times. Have you had some bad wrecks in your career? Oh, I've had a few, but not too bad. Knocking on wood, not had an ankle broken, a wrist broken, and a few other things, but not really bad for as many times as I went down back in the old days when they were a little rough. We got some footage now from 1940 at Historic Track in Goshen showing some wrecks in the early days. Most accidents in the early days of harness racing, and even so today, occur with pacers. Why is that, Delvin? Well, you know, their legs are tied together and they can't just, uh, if they make a mistake, they trip themselves, where mm -hmm. a trotter can just uh, make a break and, and step over things. It's a lot easier. Racing at Goshen.